A common misconception among Christians today is that the covenant, or the old covenant in particular, is the law. Okay? Now, for those of you who are not very familiar with the terminology here, Old Testament and Old Covenant are the same thing. Covenant, Testament, synonymous. Okay? If I say Old Covenant, I mean Old Testament. If I say Old Testament, I mean Old Covenant. So, as I said, there's a common misconception among a lot of Christians today that the Old Testament, or the Old Covenant, is the law. Now, I want to show you something. I want to bring us almost like a parable, an analogy to you to help you to understand what, you know, what the difference is. Covenant is not law, and law is not covenant, okay? Um, put it this way. Suppose th there's a couple that, that gets married, okay? Suppose one of those, one of the, uh, one of the spouses passes away, that marriage is ended. So before the marriage began, the law was in effect and in place, okay? We can look at it. You can look at it from any point of view, from any country in, in, of the world, okay? We're talking about the law of the country, the law of the state, the province, the law, the law of the county, however you want to look at it. There is the law of the land that's in place. And then there's a couple get, that gets married. So before the marriage, the couple, the, excuse me, the law is in, in place and in effect, okay? After the marriage, the law is in place and in effect. The marriage does not affect the law. The marriage is governed by the law, but the marriage does not affect the law. The law exists before and after and during the marriage. Now, the marriage certificate in itself could state or um, allude to or, you know, be based upon the law. So this is where a lot of people get it confused, okay? Because it says in the scriptures that um, uh, write down, you know, the, uh, the words of the, uh, of the covenant and, and, and uh, God gives commandment to write down, you know, the so-called Ten Commandments. Uh, and so the law is in the covenant, but the law is not the covenant. Do you understand? Okay. Just like the law could be in the marriage, in the marriage vows, in the marriage certificate, but the law is not the marriage certificate. Okay. So you need to understand the difference. There is a big difference. Don't confuse law or Torah with Old Testament. Don't confuse Old Testament with Torah. Okay. There are two different things. And by the way, just another little nugget for you to think about here. In the so-called Old Testament, in, in the Bible, there are many testaments. There are many covenants. You know, the covenant of Adam, the covenant of Noah, the covenant of Abraham, the covenant of David, covenant of Isaac, covenant of Jacob, and so on and so forth. There are many covenants. But the question is, which one, because there's only one, that is the Old Testament, the Old Covenant. It doesn't say Old Covenants. Old Covenant. That's for another video. So anyway, I hope I give you some, something to think about and I hope this video was very helpful to you. Please check out my uh, blog at ChristopherEnoch.org and don't forget to like and don't forget to follow me, subscribe. Thank you very much.